What's up, YouTube? Coop, aka SB Coop, coming to you with a tutorial for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yes, the Gen 4 remakes have finally come out. I'm gonna be hitting you guys up with some tutorial videos here. So, first tutorial video here is gonna be how to set up to soft reset to get yourself a shiny starter. Getting a shiny starter to start your game off is a really cool thing. You can play through the whole game with a shiny. It is a full odd shiny hunt though. It is one in 4,000 odds, so it's usually not a quick thing to do. You could spend weeks, months, years. You never really know how it's gonna go with that RNG. But if you're able to get it done, it's a really cool thing to play the game through with that shiny starter. Uh, so in this video, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to get everything set up so you can do each reset as quickly as possible. It's gonna be a really short video, so let's get right to it. All right, so. We've started the game, you talked to your mom, you met your rival, uh, either Barry or you named it something funny. Who knows what you did. So here you are with Barry, uh, we're just gonna call him Barry. Uh, you need to go over and investigate something going on over by Lake Viridity. So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna get over to the Viridity Lakefront. You're gonna get up to this spot here and what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna go into options Make sure you have the tech speed as fast and then go down and turn auto save off. Make sure auto save is off. You don't want to accidentally save over something that uh, doesn't allow you to reset to get the shiny starter. Uh, so you will get as close as possible here. So just in case I am going to save right here just to make sure you don't mess anything up. We're gonna get as close as possible to the edge of this entrance where you just have to make one small tap to move forward. So again, we're just gonna go as quick, we're gonna keep saving and still move forward. So we're gonna save again. Still move. All right, so it looks like that's as far as we can go. So this is gonna trigger the uh, story. You'll see you got Professor Rowan and Don over here. You're gonna, you're gonna spam the A button. You're gonna spam that A button a lot. Find that out. Skipping through the conversation. They'll go away. And you'll see Professor Rowan left his briefcase. Still, pre you gotta spam the A button a lot. You'll move in the front of it here with Barry. And this is where you get attacked by two Starly, which is when you need to pick a Pokemon. So you'll see you have your three options. First option is gonna be Turtwig. Second is Chimchar. Third is Piplup. So depending on what you're gonna do, if you're going to choose Turtwig, obviously that's gonna be the quickest because you don't have to press any arrows. Just press A. And the one thing that's unfortunate about this part, it set, uh, automatically goes to no. So you cannot use a turbo controller to spam the A button because otherwise all you're gonna keep doing is this. You're not gonna select it, you're just gonna keep saying no. So you're gonna have to go up, you're gonna have to say yes. That's selecting your starter. It'll trigger this uh, the cutscene here into the battle. So there's the Starly, which can be a shiny Starly, the uncatchable shiny Starly. And here you have your Turtwig. You'll see it's not shiny. Restart a game, it'll bring you back to here. You're right in front of the entrance. Uh, looks like I could still move forward again, so we'll move forward again just to be safe. I don't know why. Sometimes it triggers it, sometimes it doesn't. Very weird. So let me, okay, that triggered it again. And you go through the entire cutscene again, and you'll do the exact same thing again. Again, you're just gonna keep spamming the A button, and this is how you do the reset. It has been timed out how long it takes to do a reset. It comes down to about a minute 40, minute 50, just under two minutes to do a reset, which is a little bit long, uh, which is unfortunate, but there have been much worse. X and Y and Sun and Moon were much longer, so shorter than that, but still not exactly a quick reset. So shiny starters are absolutely sh uh, not shiny locked. The one unfortunate thing, you cannot see if the Pokemon is shiny right here. You actually do have to select the Pokemon. You have to get past this part. You have to get to the battle scene. You have to get to the part where you throw out the Pokemon you selected to see if it is shiny. And not shiny, so this is where I reset. 
that about does it. Uh, again, very quick and easy thing to do to soft reset for the shiny starters. It will take you about two minutes for each reset. But once you get the rhythm down, you can kind of get it a little bit faster. You'll find yourself getting into the motion of selecting things. And that's about it. Good luck to everybody on your soft resets for your shiny starter. Hope everybody's able to get that shiny real quick. Uh, I will be doing shiny resets for Turtwig over on my Twitch channel. So check it out in the description below. Make sure uh, you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.